guess. Oh my god, social media background check. I gotta, yeah, yeah, you guys actually gotta, gotta take care of this. You guys gotta. This video is sponsored by Current. Okay. They're hiring, so apply using my link. Wait, why? There's a light bulb in is the it closet. Is it a jump street site? The closet door is closed. You cannot see if the light bulb is on or off. Okay. Outside of the closet. I wonder who's per what persona switches. this is. One of the switches control the light bulb. You can flip okay. the switches however you'd like. What is the number of light bulbs sold in the U.S. each week? <laughs> Fucking job interviews. Um, okay. Um, 50 million? Okay. Not bad. Weak hire. Jesus Christ. Okay. Hey, hello, hello, hello. 那开这么久来辛苦了吧也不也呃哎我叫苏娜苏不进入苏老乡哦对呀嗯你你好呀这听错听错听错喂斯蒂文斯蒂文可以说韩语吗所以呃哎喂来呃喂喂是韩语吗
create a class to find the medium in a data string. Of course, we don't have much time. Uh, okay. Uh, I guess what we can do is we can create uh, an array. And Too slow. <laughs> um, okay. Um, this is why maybe he should have just wrote the uh, he, sh he should have wrote him, dude. Insertion. My grandmother wrong faster than your code. Mm. Okay, well, what if we create a hash map, right, and then. Hash, hash, what? You eat too much hash brown, your brain turn into potato. Jesus Christ! E okay, uh, fuck. Um, um, damn! Oh, oh, oh wait, okay, w what if... Oh, sorry, would you look at the time? Good luck with your, your other interviews. <laughs> okay meeting you. It was okay meeting you. Yeah, I was really rough, dude. Like for my case, when I when I interview a person for for like let's a managerial position, I like stare them down in the eyes, and if they stare away, I instantly just stand up and go. That's it. <laughs> That's it. That's it. <laughs> so I'm sure you've heard about our five principles and our 53 okay. core values to our company. The culture guy. Okay. Yeah. Sh sure. Great, because you know culture is very important to our company. So I'm just gonna ask you one question. If your parents were in a car crash, wow. and you save one, who would you save and how does that reflect our company values? Damn. I hate those guys. Um, I hate those guys. I mean, I swear to God. Okay. <laughs> the absentee. Okay. No way. Wait, for real? If if I oh, ever really? oh like interview God. people, you which is part of my a uh, part of my what? my main my main Emotional thing, damage. you know, what the fuck is that? As, as a as a chief officer, no. is that? Okay. I try to roast people a lot, put them on stressful <laughs> situations, right, and see okay, how they would they overreact. Right I wonder. If, I wonder yeah, if they I'll, cover I'll, I'll that here too. Ooh, what are you here again? <laughs> Dumbass. Oh my God! Social media background check. I gotta, yeah, yeah. You guys actually gotta, gotta take care of this. You guys gotta take care of your social media, okay? Your, your digital footprint. You guys gotta really take care of this, okay? My God. Okay. Here's the thing, okay? Um, some of you guys, especially the Gen Z, the newer generations, some of you guys would say that your 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 digital footprint doesn't matter. Whatever you post on your social media doesn't matter. I'm gonna correct you at that point and I'm gonna say it does okay here's the thing majority before you get uh, when you get um, let's say um, uh, listed for the interview what happens is that you know HR interns I don't know in your company but in my company we do that interns are the one who check your social medias if you say anything racist if you say anything generally bad that's gonna be enough to disqualify you from the position so you guys really 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 have to take care of it like so this is what my advice to you is okay you can have two personas in the internet your real life persona let's say your, your real life name is um uh, mang Juan, okay oh let's change it to my favorite hero let's say uh mang Kanor, okay so that is that's that's gonna be your <laughs> that's <laughs> <laughs> that's <laughs> that's gonna be let's say mm, mm, sorry so you're gonna you have your name is Mankanor and then that's gonna be your IRL persona post every achievements everything that you did like your 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 um your charity stuff you know your accomplishment achievements you know post it on your your IRL stuff okay if you wanna shit post you wanna post like uh you know political rants you wanna post like you know edgy hentai anime on your links like your ahegel jacket and that kind of stuff make another account and call yourself like you know some kind of internet persona that you have okay it's better to separate those two things it's because when you put that in your resume the interns will check out your real name on social media platforms now here's the thing and host just a second tip by the way is if you don't have a LinkedIn account I do suggest you make one by the way LinkedIn is a social media platform for business and for work work related things okay think of Facebook but it's work related I actually want you to make that too especially for new graduates you do need that you can get a lot of networking done there and if you're if you if you're lucky enough you might even find a job there like I know that majority of people they use something like job street or whatever like but generally speaking LinkedIn is a very good way to network with other professionals in your field or you know generally HR people and I would really suggest that okay so those are my two takes on that one I think it's it's pretty important so again keep your social media presence very 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 um, I guess 
positive you know you don't want to be negative if you're going to be a negative you're going to troll whatever do that on another um alt account okay or another persona you know just so that they don't find you and they're not gonna say oh i'm not gonna accept you because you posted something about like you posted a liberal agenda and then the company's you know republican by nature because that happens a lot too there's no such thing as a perfect company so there is going to be a lot of um, quote-unquote diversity issues, political issues that is going to be hindering you from getting the job even though you're really qualified and passionate for the job, okay? So do, so uh, do separate your social medias, okay? Just, 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 just separate them, okay? That's all I'd say. And also get LinkedIn. If you don't have LinkedIn, get it. You do, you do need that. I'm just telling you, you need that for networking. But if, you, if you're a boomer and you say, I don't want it, I already have a job, I'm more stable with it, I'm not going to resign anytime soon, okay, then you don't have to. But if you're on the younger side of things, actually do suggest that you get that, especially if you're working on the IT, the, uh, the computer fields, IT fields, or basic if you're going to be the engineering or, you know, like those kind of stuff. Okay, that's what that's what I would say. And it does really matter because even for me who checks out like 30 year old, uh, like, for example, if I have an applicant for a managerial role, which is like he's 30 or 40, I constantly check his um, LinkedIn profile. And then it, if he doesn't wa doesn't have one, I kind of scratch him out already because it's for the mere fact that he's he's not able to adjust to technological trends or to the you know to the trends that are happening right now currently with the market you know. And as a manager, you need to get updated on those kind of things. So do take do do understand that because that's really fucking important if you really want to get the job, okay? Or you want to get a job or get the job that you want. Pretty 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 rough here. The founder CEO, okay. Come. Let me show you something. Okay. This is, they have should have been this is cello. 130 man. desks. 130 employees by the end of the year. Okay. We raised a hundred million dollars at a 1.2 billion valuation. Yeah, congrats. I mean, you guys have a great product, great product market fit. I mean Do you really believe my company's worth a billion dollars? Well, yeah, I mean, you have great user retention. And it's all fairy dust. See all of this? Smoke and mirrors, you know. The sleight of hand for the uninitiated. Well, sure, okay. on paper, it's worth a billion dollars, but none of this is ever going to see the light of day. And that's why we liquidate. Oh, standard, he's going right? to be talking about liquidating assets. An IPO or an acquisition. Yeah, that's pretty well, much that's standard. Wrong. So you want to be on the secondary market. Okay. The equity, the paper money, the number on these screens, they're it's all... It's funny because majority of founders only investors. care about how much money they make. That's why I but hate we, working with founders, man. We want hard cash, right? So you lose this where you want to be. Oh, I mean... Is he, is he, is he gonna do to money laundering? Investors, you can't just it's pretty easy, out. just pull a rug right. up... Uh, uh, I, don't <laughs> I can't say that, I can't say that. Yeah. I might get cancelled if someone's smart enough to find you know what I'm saying. At the end of the day, all the people see are these numbers. Okay. And if enough people believe they're real, they become real. Mm, not addicted. really. So not really. Sell your house of cars while it still looks like a palace. Not really, because that the intrinsic would, right? value is, is depending yeah, on lead, your market share. You can call me Eric. Even though you're a one billion worth company, but your market share is shit, then it's not gonna happen. Eric. Welcome to the company. Enjoy the ride as much as you can. Yeah. I don't know, luckily, this is the, the main type of people I deal with. Blinders of on trust. Still on the blinders of on trust. Like, they're very philosophical as shit, man. I kind of hate it, if you ask me. Eric Wang ended up interning at this fairy dust company. Okay. But to make sure you don't end up like him, let me tell you about a legit company with an actual great product. Okay. Current. Now, obviously, this video is a parody, and their interview process is nothing like that. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, sorry, sorry. Uh, here's the thing about, like, uh, interview processes like that is it always gets into, oh my god, good frame. Um, it always gets into, like, a lot of mediocre things, you know? Like, for example, it kind of depends, too. If you're applying for a, like, example, a McDonald's job, which is great, I'm not telling it's bad, it's great. It's just that, you know, you would probably get people who just wants to get to working already. But the harder, the, the higher you go into the ladder, like for example, if you're going to be getting into a managerial position, supervisor position, it's going to get way harder. It's going to be way complexer. If you're going to be like me, who, who works in more of the 
uh can't really say but i don't want to dox myself but like on the higher levels it's going to be you're dealing with the ceo founders like uh, board meetings uh, i'm sorry board of directors like those kind of stuff stakeholders okay by the way stakeholders are different from shareholders so please please do please do check that out if you don't know but yeah and normally in these types of interviews there's multiple interviews okay maybe in your eyes you could only see maybe like one interview or like two interviews at the most but if you're getting if you're gunning for high positions it takes you three interviews four interviews five interviews you can even get into a dinner interview which i do suggest you learn how to properly um you know conduct yourself regarding um dining etiquette that's what i would say but this usually happens on the you know the upper the higher scale of things so that's what i would say and um probably my best tip to you if you're getting in, gonna get into an interview process is just um think of think of the company as a puzzle piece like as a, as a puzzle piece if you see something sus then don't go don't, don't take it don't take it just get out get out okay but if you really need the funds just just do it okay because here's the thing as long as you can stay in the company for at least uh one year you can slap that on your resume and move on because there's a legitimate practice i don't approve of this by the way but there's something called job hopping what you do is basically you as a graduate you apply into a let's say a position um what's a good position let's say as a um, as a waitress as a waiter okay as a server in in a, com in a in a company right you work there one year and then the next well, after that one year tenureship you you leave that job and apply for a cashier position after the cashier position you leave that into uh into like a manager position or like a team leader after team leader you apply for a supervisor or a manager you know you just go that every one year you make it a point at least you have you know you have a stable career growth the reason why i don't agree with that is because you don't you're not able to prop prop properly um um um, use your connections to the fullest you know you can you don't, you don't really have the time to build that emotional connection with your co-workers that can help you and can build long-lasting friendships or long-lasting bonds that's why i don't agree with that statement okay but that's actually way too uh, a, little, a, a lot more smarter because if you stay in that one company it will probably take you like 10 years to get a managerial position but if you just job hop probably can take you four or five years but again every job every job um interview is a i mean every job application is a gamble and i would like you to actually do your research first do your research on the company do research on what is the current standards what are the current norms and what are the current trends and then i think you should be okay really when it comes to interview it's just just put a mask just put a just, just put a facade and just just lie just lie to the skin of your teeth. If they're gonna say something like, "Can you do this?" but you can't really do that, you could just tell something like, "Oh yeah, I can actually do that, but I need to to do a refresher course because I have not done that in years," or etc. Just lie about it, and you could just learn about it in the job process because that's the reason why there's training. That's the reason why you, you get to intern for like three or six months. I don't really know in your company, but usually it's six months, okay? That's why you get to go there in a company and learn the tasks that you're gonna do and then just continue. That is why you can just lie to the skin of your teeth. But Ryozin, sometimes there's technical issues acquired, the technical uh, issues, um, you know, required for the job. Then I'm gonna tell you that if you don't know the technical issue, uh, technical stuff on that job, then don't apply, dumbass. You can't be a business graduate and you're applying for a programming or developer job. Now, can you? Okay. If you are an animator or if you are a web designer and you want to apply for a programming job, and you can lie it, you can lie to the grit of your teeth because you, there are some terms that are interchangeable in both fields, then go do it. Doesn't matter, dude. What matters the most is just get into the job. The interview is just a gate. The most important thing is you learn everything in the job. And I think that's pretty good too. Okay. I mean it's a bad practice, but you know what? I'm exposing this entire interview thing anyway. So yeah, good job on that one. Okay. So if you guys have any like questions on how to pass an interview, drop them down, drop them down in the comment section of this video. I if I heart your comment, that's that means I read it. And if I see your your comment and I see, okay, that's a, that's a good argument, I'll try to reply on that too. Okay. So I'll see you guys on the next one love you boys hey you've reached the end of the video click here to watch the next one and also don't forget to sub by clicking here thanks man i'll see you later